So in this quick video, I'm going to be showing you how to contact ChatGPT or more so kind of find their support email. At this time, I'd say they must be so busy, it's very hard to reach them. And the reason I bring this up is because I did a video about if you wanted to cancel your subscription, where you would go to my account, you would go to manage my subscription, and you can cancel it from there. However, a few of you have stated that after getting the ChatGPT Plus, it hasn't shown the my account section. So I kind of wanted to walk through and see if I could manage it myself and this is the best that I have gotten so far. Like I said, they seem to be so busy. I think their support could be a little bit better, but we'll just go with it. So after clicking on the help button, you can go to this right here as well and say if you want to do like search for help, pretty much the same thing as what we're looking at. If you go to chat GPT here, let's just say plus. What it's going to show you is the uh, first how you can cancel it. I did a video about this, but just like I showed you, it would be in the sidebar with my account. Uh, that's going to be a way of doing that. And like I said, if anyone couldn't find that, uh, there's also you know reaching out to them. So there is one email that I found here. It is going to be for refunds, but if you need help with cancellation, they might be able to help you there as well. So that's going to be one of the emails, refunds at openai.com. says if you live in EU, UK, or Turkey, you're eligible for a refund if you cancel your subscription within 14 days of purchase. So that's going to be kind of the stipulation when it comes to that. This is VAT tax refund is another email, but Overall, that's probably the best email that I found. If there is any other better ones that you found, please leave a comment down below so other people can see it. And aside from that, there's going to be, say, like the messages. So and the other thing I did want to mention is that you can send them a message. This is like a chat box or so on and so forth. I have done two of them and I just, you know, typed one in. So usually at the bottom, it'll say like, send us a message. I just did this one very recently and they said back in one hour. From what I've seen, it you know, usually, I guess, because I'm doing videos earlier, uh, they will be back later. So you're going to have to kind of go back and forth. But at this time, it's pretty basic and not very helpful when they're not around. You click on learn more and contact sales and it tells you just some random stuff. And then it says you can't even click here. It's just a button and it says for more information, it leads you back here to access chat GPT, leads you back to the home screen. You do start over and this is all it has right here. We can do the same thing over and over. So Hopefully, you know, if they are back in one hour, you should be able to speak to someone. Those are going to be the two ways that I personally know about when it comes to contacting them. Although it hasn't been the most reliable, it is options for you. And like this video is more so if anyone else has better ideas of doing that, for example, if you did get plus and you'd like to cancel and your my account isn't there, you know, feel free to leave a comment down below to help someone out. So that's about it. I hope it helps, you know, until I get some better ways of contacting support or getting through whatever it may be. I will update the video, but that's what we have until now. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.